Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss which rubber serves better. I mean different types of rubbers. Let's briefly go through all types of rubbers and thoroughly cover all aspects in this topic. And of course, let's start with the slippery anti-spin rubbers. You can serve with them, but it's unclear why you would. If you know, please inform us quickly in the comments. Anti-spins are slippery, smooth, so they don't grip the ball with any protrusions or bumps like pips. In other words, slippery anti-spin rubbers cannot affect the ball in any way. You can only push the ball. If your opponent is playing with you for the first time, you can confuse them for a couple of minutes by pretending to chop with an anti-spin. The opponent will raise the ball. Then he will realize you're making a fool of him and will change their behavior. From that moment on, serving with an anti-spin will likely not be effective for you. Next, you'll serve with an another rubber. Sometimes you can try to serve unnoticed with a slippery anti-spin, hoping the opponent will not notice. But if the opponent is attentive, surprises won't work. Generally speaking, this type of rubber isn't for serving. Though there may be inventive players who figure out an effective way to serve with a slippery anti-spin. Write to us if you have such an experience. Next, grippy anti-spin rubbers. Their usefulness for serving is slightly higher than the previous type. Since they have some grip, they can impart a slight spin to the ball when serving. Against low-level opponents this can work you can also alternate serving by trimming with either an anti-spin or an inverted rubber. The opponent may not always notice this and make mistakes or give you an attacking opportunity. It's not a universal method for all opponents, but it's worth trying against each one. Serve more often with an inverted rubber and occasionally with an anti-spin, and see how your opponent handles it. By the way, while we're making interesting and useful videos and reviews for you, visit our TT Maximum store more often for purchases. It would be the best way to thank us for our videos. Next, long pips without sponge. At a strong amateur level, they are probably useless for serving. At weak and mass amateur levels, you can try. It can be a simple flat push, just enough so the ball dies somewhere on the opponent's table or drops under the table edge. Perhaps the opponent will try to attack it. But since the ball has little energy, it's difficult to grip it. It may slip off the racket. In general, you can try and see how the opponent responds. You can also occasionally push the ball as far as possible with long pips OX. Some players may not manage to handle such a serve and will play uncertainly. You can also simulate serving with backspin. Although you probably won't be able to make backspin, it will look like chopping and some players will try to play as if there is backspin. Of course, these are not universal options. You need to try them with each opponent and see what works. And of course, you need to twiddle your racket and alternate similar serves with pips, anti-spins, and inverted rubbers. Next, long pips with sponge. The recommendations for them are similar to long pips without sponge. The difference is that some long pips with sponge can impart noticeable backspin, so you can use that additionally. For example, you can chop with pips or simulate chopping with a slow movement. And of course, alternate with an inverted rubber. Medium pips without sponge. Their capabilities for serving are approximately the same as long pips without sponge, or even less. It's harder to fool with chopping because it's more noticeable. After all, the rubber is stiff. With long pips, you can generally simulate chopping with a very open blade. The pips bend and the ball sticks to the rubber. With medium pips without sponge, the ball will immediately bounce forward and upward. So such a rubber is bad useful for serving. Medium pips with sponge. Medium pips come in different types, some of which stand out significantly from the others. Mostly, you can serve with them similarly to how you would with an inverted rubber. You can make a spin, can chop. So use your wit and execute whatever comes to mind. You can give spin at times, then imitate and give a flat ball. And of course, alternate with an inverted rubber. Next, short pips without sponge. You can say the same thing about them as about medium pips without sponge. And I'll add that short pips have more grip, so they can give a slightly stronger spin on serves. But that's it, just a bit. There's no sponge, so the contact with the ball is very short and weak. In general, it's unlikely you'll find advantages in serving with such a rubber. 
at the level of weak players, any rubber can be used for serving. But opponents who have learned to understand spins and play accordingly will confidently handle such serves. By the way, while I'm sharing all this useful information with you, please press like and subscribe. Likes won't click themselves. Next, short pips with sponge. This type of rubber offers many possibilities for serving, similar to an inverted rubber. Although short pips spin less than inverted rubbers, they still spin. And this spin cannot be ignored by the opponent. Plus, not only do he have to guess the type of spin on the serve, but they also need to determine its strength. And here, the opponent will make mistakes too. Therefore, you'll receive nets and comfortable balls for attack. Also, serves with short pips may fly and bounce a little differently. This also leads to additional errors and uncertainty for the opponent. Plus, with short pips, you can serve a strong backspin, which opponents will put into the net. Next, inverted rubbers. Generally, you already know about them. I'll note that hybrid rubbers are easier to control when serving. It's easier to make a strong backspin or serve a short serve hybrid simply offer more control. And there's another nuance with sticky rubbers. Because they have stickiness, sometimes the ball sticks to them. In other words, with a sharp, fast motion, you can serve a strong backspin. On the other hand, if the movement is slower and you serve a simple backspin, the ball may just stick to the rubber briefly and then bounce off without spin. So if you're switching from a regular inverted rubber to a sticky one, pay attention to these moments and maybe you can use them to your advantage against the opponent. And finally, the obvious thing, if you want your serves to be dangerous for opponents, you need to practice them. In other words, you need to come up with different variations of serves, think about how to vary them, and alternate them with another rubber. And you need to stand at the table and practice them with a large number of balls. Those are the boring cliches. Sorry for not saying anything magically inspiring. Beer won't bring itself from the store. And serves won't serve themselves. And your rubber won't make a tricky serve for the opponent by itself. That's all. If you have any questions on this topic, ask them in the comments under the video.